MLB prize picks for Monday, July 24th. I'm Sniper from DFS Army. Let's go ahead and ju jump right into the board today. I hope you all had a good weekend, enjoyed some picks, enjoyed some prize picks, enjoyed the summer. Um, actually, before the board, we're going to go over the DFS Army Proptimizer. If you're not familiar with the Proptimizer, what you compare prize pick lines, sportsbook odds, and our own projections, finding plus EV plays across the board. As you can see, the board is a little bit tight right now. I don't even think as of right now on Monday morning, um, here on the East Coast, that Prize Picks has even released all of the lines for all the games. We'll do morning videos, so we're going to work with what we got. So only two picks today, um, which has been kind of the theme the last week. Had a good start to the last week before we trailed off. So I have two plays um, that I like, don't love quite honestly. Um, I said the board is not very strong, but members of DFS Army will get access to more plays throughout the day. That being said, links in the description to join. Code Sniper20 for your 20% off. Make sure you're on prize picks, underdog, sleeper, all that good stuff as we gear up for NFL season. As you can see, I'm hovering over him. It's Quinn Priester. It's going to be play number one right now. The under three and a half line, best line is minus 140 at FanDuel, a best in terms of most juiced. It's, my, it's at least minus 130 everywhere, and we are projecting him at 3.24 Ks. The reason I like this play, and it's not huge, obviously I want the line to be a little bit bigger uh, somewhere, but really this is this is Quinn Priester's, I believe it's his second, yeah, just second uh, MLB start. Pitched pretty good in his uh, first start. He came around. I should say he pitched pretty good. He gave up seven runs, but he made it five and a third and then seven runs I gave up two homers, did strike out two bad of 71 pitches. So not not pretty good. But but again, he kind of got, got blown up at um in parts. I don't think he was I don't think he was terrible throughout at that Monday morning brain going. Um but only only two strikeouts in uh against Cleveland. And today he's got, I believe it's San Diego who is bottom third in the league in terms of striking out. Let's go ahead and pull up Quinn Priester. Just be the one game in here. And, oh, March 21st. Just, that must have been back in spring spring training. That was, didn't even come up when I looked him up really quickly. So, at least what I can see in the, the MLB, uh, one spring training game, spring training game, one regular season game, doesn't get a lot of strikeouts facing a team that doesn't strike out a lot. Did not fare particularly well in his first um, MLB outing. Just kind of did eat up some innings, though. So it wasn't a total loss cause. But again, for three and a half strikeouts, minus 140 in some books, minus 130 at DraftKings. Um, and again, a tight board. I will go ahead and play Quinn Priester less than three and a half strikeouts. As you see, if you go back to the board here, you're DFS Army member, uh, you know, you're in the Proptimizer. I've got the question before. It's a good time to kind of hit on it. I, I try and stay away from some of these push props unless I really like them um, or the projections really popping off. Nothing really does here. Colin Ray's only projected 0.17 under this push line. Um, Ashcraft's actually projected under. And I want the lines to match up or our projections to match up with what I'm what I'm looking at here. So, for example, just say, for example, this was, you know, over five and a half juiced at like minus 150 for Colin Ray. It's not just hypothetically. It's five and a half, a lot of juice though. But our projection is projected under. I'm actually not going to play this play. I want everything to line up. It's what makes uh, us different than the sites that just have the, just using odds, that extra level of these projections. So it's really solid projections. I want everything to be lined up. If they are contradicting each other, I don't make the play. Uh, we're going to go for play number two because, as you can see, it was a thin board. I did find a play I liked here in the hits, runs, and RBI combo. It's Bryce Harper and Adley Rutschman. Why am I playing this? Well, quite frankly, both guys are struggling at the plate right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take a stab at the less than. If we talk about um, Bryce Harper, Bryce Harper is, in the last week, he's hitting just 222. He's 6 for 27. Um you know, home runs in that, in that span, slugging just 259. So he has been a bit cold. And Rutschman, on the other hand, or sorry, Andy, Adley Rutschman, on the other hand, over the last seven games, he's hitting 192, um, 5 for 26. Does have one homer in the last week. Uh, last two weeks, he's hitting 250. Um, yeah, he's just both of these guys not playing great right now. If this four combo line where, where I, can get, I can get a push, 
I think both their lines are set at one and a half with a little bit of juice to the over, but they're slumping. I don't love, you know, nobody's pushing towards the uh, 2.5 line. So in terms of needing a second play for this morning's video, this is where I'm going to go. So our quick recap, Quinn Priest are less than three and a half strikeouts. And Harper plus Rutschman less than four hits, runs, and RBIs. I've already put out plays. We have League of Legends play that's already won uh, for two today. We had a tennis play this morning. Um, kind of got burned on soccer. If, if we go back, we, we played um, Corrales for Italy. She didn't start, and then she scored as a sub. So that was fun this morning. But, you know, picks have been on point recently. Got PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Hmm. Prize picks, underdog, and Sleeper plays all of the of song. Make sure you go and check it out. I'll make the morning play. We'll recap tomorrow. We'll track as usual. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. I hope you enjoy your Monday. And it's your daily reminder that whether or not you are a DFS Army member, you probably should be. But either way, good luck in those contests, and I will see you next time.